Next, I'll share with you our body language. When it comes to making an impression, body language comprises of 55%. So a very simple question I ask you, when you are preparing a speech, how many of you write down your script? And in a normal presentation I ask, I can tell you almost maybe 70% of people are writing down, they will write down their script or they'll write down the pointers. Script word by word, some of them write down pointers. Almost 100% of them will raise their hand. And that is fine. All right, the second thing is, how many of you actually write down, when are you going to increase your volume? When are you going to reduce your volume? And when are you going to increase your pitch? When are you going to lower your tone? How many of you actually write it down when you want to increase your volume, when you want to reduce your volume, when you want to increase your pitch, when you want to lower your tone? How many of you do that? And how many of you write down exactly when you're going to move your right hand, when you move your left hand, when are you going to increase your eyebrow, when are you going to jump up on stage? How many of you actually write down? And I can tell you each time I ask this in a workshop, words 100%, vocal, maybe 20% people will raise their hand. Body language, maybe 20-30%. That is the problem. That is really the problem because if the research studies have come out, body language comprises of 55%. Why there is not many focus on preparing your speech based on body language? By right, I will show you in in-depth on how I prepared my speech using body language and how do I craft out all this body language uh, later on in the next session. Okay, so we learn from the master. And this is, of course, the famous Charlie Chaplin and Mr. Bean. And I want to show you this 1 minute and 40 seconds clip by Mr. Bean himself. And I want you to observe the body language, the facial expression, and see if you can figure out what I am trying to convey, what message I'm trying to convey to you regarding body language. particular Mr. Bean movie you I mean how many of you here observe what kind of facial expression yeah. did he did he actually utter any single words but why people are laughing why people are laughing while he didn't even say a word there's no words there's no voice but people laugh just by using body language Mr. Bean is the master of body language. But the real information I want you to get, the real point I want you to get is in this 1 minute and 40 second clips, Mr. Bean is able to bring us through an, what I call an emotional roller coaster. If you were to plot Mr. Bean's this 1 minute and 40 seconds and based on his facial expression over that 1 minute and 40 seconds, you would have seen he has bring us through what I call an emotional roller coaster, similar as 
a speaker, you have to bring your audience through an emotional roller coaster. For example, when when uh, Mr. Bean is sitting down there, he's being proud, right? So he's under happiness. And then he felt a bit uh, relieved because the other guy was having a more painful than, or, 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 or get more injured than he is, you know. Then he become very angry and impatient because the nurse didn't call his number or his number is way back. And when he take out his hand, he showed everyone that you no know, he has something on his hand he felt embarrassed and he was uh, felt very uplifted when he was able to switch the the numbering with the other people and at the end he felt very fearful because the nurse is looking at him so just in one minute and 40 seconds he had bring us through one two three four five six different emotion and it's all up and down up and down and that's exactly what we need to do and so if you if you are a professional and you want to do one of the best speech, you, know, you just look through your speech and read it out and see whether in your story or in your presentation, do you bring your audience through this kind of emotional roller coaster? Do you bring your audience through, through a feeling of anger, a sadness, and then happiness, joyful, um, you know, surprise? Or do you bring your audience to a space where they're fearful of the event? So if you are able to bring to your audience, most people will only focus on happiness, surprise, and, and so on and so forth, or, or just merely angry, sadness, and fearful. But they won't bring people through up and down, up and down. And that's exactly what we need to do in our presentation.